Okay, so as promised, um, I, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the video of the hair trigger working. Um, so here's the Lonex gearbox shell um, that you saw in the video demonstration with that voltmeter um, demonstrating that trigger, the hair trigger. And I decided to throw it in this King Arms, uh, Overland Arms licensed uh, metal body uh, that I had laying around. And a also a MOE grip that I had lying around. Um, so in the gun, I'll just go up real quick. I have a um, Siege Tech Gen 1 DSG, dual sector gear, um, and a KWA Gen 1 um, spur or step gear, and a Bravo AKA Lonex um, bevel gear with a Siege Tech pinion. Um, the motor is a G and G can with neo magnets, uh, ventilated uh, with a cooling mod, I should say. And uh, I'm not can't, I can't remember what M battles on here, but the armature is 16 TPA. Um, <coughs> might be a um, an old JG red armature. I'm not too sure about that. Or it could be the original G and G. I honestly don't know. I have a stack of uh, armatures just lying around, but. Um, with this test, I'll be using uh, the MOSFET that I just built, um, based off of Terry Fritz's design. Uh, it uses a massive TVS diode, 18 volts, uh, but it's an uh, international rectifier, um, 3034 MOSFET, and I don't know if you can see it writing below right here. I have a 30 amp uh, self-resetting polyfuse. Um, I believe it's Jonesy that made that from Airsoft Mechanics. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you the trigger pull without the battery. And also on the trigger spring, I cut one coil off to make it a little bit lighter. So it's pretty light. Um, but uh, I'll go ahead and do the demonstration of it firing on this battery right here. It's a Sky LiPo 11.1 uh, LiPoly 40C constant, ADC burst. Uh, the gun's wired to Dean's, and um, so I'll just go ahead and show the fire in here and get a good view of it. So hold it like this. I'll hold it like that. So here we go. Whoops. So that's it. Uh, as you can see, it's very light, very crisp. And uh, this is a throw, throw together gun. So I do plan on selling it as soon as I get it together. Uh, we'll have this rail on it. And. Um, Currently it has an ASG-170 spring in there. Uh, I did chrono uh, the gun, and uh, I made a video of that as well. Um, and uh, the FPS on this spring is 303 FPS with 0.25 gram BBs. Um, so, and that was just the average. Uh, deviation isn't too bad at all. Uh, it's pretty good, actually. But, um, so yeah, I didn't, uh, I don't know what it's shooting at. Um, I could run a sound analysis, but I don't know exactly. Um, what it would be through the chrono, um, just because I don't have a super good chrono like an X-Cortec or anything like that um, currently, so I can't give you uh, anything like that. But it does, it does, it appears to be feeding every single round just fine. I just say that just to be, you know, careful. So I'm not giving any of you guys false information. But um, that's the gun, um, and uh, I think that's about it. And thank you for watching.